Hello everybody and welcome. Guess what we're playing? Highline Miami. This is the first game. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is going to be really fun. I'm here to tell you how to kill people. <laughs> I don't know how many games actually start you off like that. That dude looks disgusting. This game is controlled with the left and right stick. R1 to punch. Aim for the face. Once you knock someone out, you have to finish him. To do this, you press the X button. You got it? R1 to punch, X to finish. Do you understand? Don't mess it up. Oh, but use the bat in the red room over there, okay? Press L1 when next to it to take it. Then press the R1 to swing. Did that get through your thick skull? Did it? L1 to pick up, R1 to swing it. Are you listening? Well, get it. Oh, get it then. All right. All right, we did it. Well done, so let's get to the gun, shall we? You go and get the shotgun in the blue room. You do it the same way you picked up the bat. Just press L, uh, L1, can you handle it? Handle that. Use the L2 or the touchpad to look for enemies out of view. It is very useful for not getting yourself killed. You can press the R3, R2, or touchpad pad to lock on enemies. Just make sure you place your crosshair next to them first. R L1 to grab, L2 or touchpad to look, R1 to shoot, R3, R2 or touchpad to lock on. Now go ahead and kill the guy in the yellow room. My goodness. I haven't even used the lock on in a while, so let's not use it. It'll make things a little harder. Alright, that's about sums up the basics, however. There's always some more tricks to learn. You can throw any weapon you pick up by pressing L1. You can use doors to knock enemies over. Guns are very loud, very loud and alert your foes. So play your moves and use melee weapons when you can. Darn it. <laughs> You'll just get yourself killed anyway, won't you? Well, of course. This game's all about dying. Part 1. Phone calls. I like the representation of the first one compared to the other ones. It was more mysterious. So we're in the nasty bathroom. Let's go talk to the overlords, I call them. And who do we have here? Oh, you don't know who you are. Maybe we should leave it that way. But I know you. Look at my face. We met before, haven't we? I don't know you. Why are you here? You're no guest of mine. <laughs> Do you really want me to reveal who you are? Knowing oneself makes acknowledging one's actions. Oh, it means acknowledging one's action, sorry. As of lately, you've done some terrible things. You don't remember me? I'll give you a clue. Does April the 3rd mean anything to you? I believe that was the day of our first encounter. It looked like you might be remembering something. So it's April 3rd, 1989. Miami, Florida. Huh. Okay. Not bad. If you remember from my um, Hala Miami 2 hard mode playthrough, you might have remembered this apartment. I'm sure you've seen it in both the normal mode and hard modes. Ooh, I just thought about it. <laughs> oh, they won't let me restart. I skipped through it. I have a bad habit of doing that. Ugh. I don't like that. No. We're going to start again. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna have to cut all this out, am I? Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it out. Yeah. You have one new message. Beep. Hi, this is Tim at the bakery. The cookies that you ordered should be delivered by now. A list of ingredients are included. Make sure that you read them carefully. Click. The target is a briefcase. Discretion is of essence. Leave target at point F3032 inside the dumpster. Failure is not an option. We'll be watching you. So we found a uh, a mask inside of a, a tape box. 
and it's telling us to kill something or do actually do something. Ooh, we got a nice DeLorean. So a prelude, the Metro. Follow the red arrows. I think that's one thing I did like about the game. See, right now I have a lot of the mask. Um, well, actually, I have a few of the masks. Thought I had more, but we're just gonna stick with the basic one, which is Richard for this part. Uh, Richard doesn't do anything special, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the cool thing that I like about this game is that you can kill a lot of the Russian uh, people with uh, just pressing X. Let's go ahead and pick this up. This is one of the secrets that you find in the level. And uh, it's good because it unlocks the ending of the game. Oh yeah, he's peeing. So let's kill him. Uh, not bad. We're doing pretty good. Yep, hello. Uh, and we got this two guys up here. There we go. And this guy. And we can pick up this briefcase. And guess what? We're done with the level. Sales quick. See, but now we have to carry this briefcase. And the bad part about this briefcase is... Um, we can't switch it out. Which is not that bad because I like... Oh, we just got killed. Ah. The briefcase doesn't let you one-shot opponents. It just knocks them down. Which is kind of like punch them. Huh. I can't get this motion right. How does this work? <laughs> yeah. Never mind. I just stick to the X button. I'm used to the X button. See, you can move your controller up and down to kill them, but it just doesn't seem to work that much unless it's a special way of doing it. Uh, let's go ahead and drop off this briefcase. Who's there? I can hear you. I know you're you're there. Uh oh. We're gonna run into a bad guy. What is he gonna do? Oh, that sucks. Sorry, homeless man. Uh oh, that was That was unfortunate. I fed the <laughs> That's so gross. I mean, not only is he dead, but he got thrown up on. That's, oh, that's terrible. But I like they do that because it characterizes um, Jagged. And his name is Jagged. That's the main character. About how he doesn't like killing people. And it makes him sick that he killed all those innocent people for no reason. Hey, look at this place. What you doing? What you messing with? Huh? What you messing with? Hello. Hi there, man. Haven't seen you around. Thought something might have happened to you. You seem really down over losing your girlfriend. Don't remember seeing you after that. Maybe we should talk about something else. So, out for a midnight snack, huh? Oh, don't worry about it. It's on the house. Good to see you and have a good night. Yep, if you saw my gameplay before, you know that that's Beard. Um, too bad he doesn't have a real name, but Beard was um, Jacket's companion, or a companion, more like military, um, I don't know, partner? Uh, he was in that elite unit, and Jacket was over there smoking all those cigarettes and stuff. Um, and yeah, he's at his store that he always wanted to be at. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. I'm going to be playing the Hotline Miami 2 and reading through the actual story. So you don't have to worry about things. Let's check our little table here. Thank you for subscribing to our newsletter. We appreciate your interest in our cause. America is a tune. It must be sung together. 50 blessings. No more, no less. So the apartment doesn't look too bad right now. It seems like we got an old Nintendo console over here, I think, or Super Nintendo. It's like 80s. No, it's probably Nintendo. Yeah. We got a bloody shirt because he was killing people. And we got a nasty pizza box right by the door. A uh, little crack in the floor in here. Not bad. Details. Good details. You have one new message. Beep. Hello, it's Linda. I need a babysitter. Right away. Got a few kids that need to be disciplined here. I'm at East 7th Street. Make sure you have a long talk with them. I really need someone to get through these rascals. And like last time, be discreet. Click. So that's right, Jacket is getting these weird messages on his phone that has absolutely nothing to relate to anything and he has to go and murder people because they tell him to. 
they don't really explain too much about the mind control part but apparently it works give the person a mask and tell them what to do on the phone in an indirect manner and they do it this time we're gonna go ahead and do uh ramus they say he has an eye for secrets I'm not sure what that really means i just use him a lot when i go looking for those little small pixels that define now i know it's not it's not too many guns here because they're trying to get you used to the game uh oh yeah oh we got a gun not bad <laughs> who else is here anyone else yep it's got on the couch there we go and i'm sorry i used the lock on twice i completely forgot and guess what right here you see this little itty bitty piece this is one of the special letters <clears throat> let's go ahead and push on further into the story and uh we don't need this gun actually let's go ahead and go back to the delorean because it's a delorean <laughs> and uh look at our score let's see what we got let's get through this pretty quick yeah we're doing okay we had a b it's generic play style but hey we're getting it done aren't we oh pizza place again Hey, you got a lot of pieces on the floor. I think it's unsanitary. Kind of gross. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome. Um, didn't I just see you? Oh, you don't need to order? Your piece is already done. Had a feeling you were on your way here, huh? Well, let's just leave it at that for now, shall we? Don't worry about paying. It's on the house. He really likes giving us things on the house. I didn't know he worked at so many different places. Mm, 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 mm. I love the music in this game. It feels like every day is a grind. Uh, it's like the same thing in and out. Same music and similarity. He eats pizza as a living source. And we have a piece of information here. Let's see what this is. Six bodies found on East 7th Street. Police suspects, uh, suspects ties to illegal drug trade. Wow. So we actually killed some some drug leaders. Let's see what this is. Witness claims seeing monster leaving the scene. Uh oh, they called us a monster because we're wearing that weird mask. <clears throat> you you have one new message. Beep. This is Thomas from the Metadone Clinic. We're scheduled a short meeting for you today. Oh tonight. We're at Northwest 184th Street, apartment 105. And don't worry, we know discretion is of importance to our clients. Click! Alright, let's get out there and uh, go handle this problem at uh, apartment 105 at 184th Street. So we're at chapter 2 now. Overdose. And let's go ahead and do Tony. We haven't did Tony in a while, so this should be fun. Uh-huh. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Oh no! No, no, no! <laughs> I think playing Tony on this level might not be the best idea unless we play it smart and uh, take our time here. Hey! Hey, brother! Hey! Oh, that's weird. They can't see us when their back is turned? That's weird. I'm used to them seeing them out of what? There we go. We're doing great. We're doing great with Tony. I see the game got more, oh wow, it got me, more like color flashy when, uh, nah, <laughs> it doesn't feel as gruesome or hard when they shoot you with things, it's a lot, it's a lot softer of appearance, hey hello, oh wow, it's like some of these enemies need glasses, <laughs> oh, maybe I need glasses, <laughs> Uh, man. Okay, so let's, let's try this again. Oh, he got stuck on the door. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. It's like funny because like playing the hard mode and then coming to play this one just makes me feel weird about it because it's not very hard, but it just makes me underestimate it because it is kind of difficult some sometimes, especially when they don't see you when their backs are turned. It's not used to that, like, 
on the hard mode I was playing on the second one, every time you turn your back, they turn their back, they still see you regardless of what you do. But look at that. I can pick up stuff with Tony? Really? That's overpowered. I didn't even, I forgot all about that. So I can kill people in one punch and pick up weapons? <laughs> I see why they changed that. Look at his sword. He swings it so fast. Okay, they, they made a lot of big changes. Okay, so let's let's look around a little bit. Um, oh, I could have got this pot off the stove and threw it and burned somebody. That would have been fun. Should do that. Um, now I don't remember where that itty bitty pixel is. Um, where are you, small pixel that I can't really see very well at all? Hmm. I don't remember. That's okay if we don't find it because I can always come back and find them again. But, uh, oh, there it is. Barely saw that. <laughs> Barely saw that. I was just going to give up too. So I'm glad I found it. Let's keep moving on in this story here. I can't believe Tony can pick up guns. That's, my mind is blown. <laughs> All right, let's check our score and see what we got. We got well B again. See, we're pretty we're B standard. Uh, let's go talk to the dude at the video store, VHS Palace. Hey, dude, it's you again? No, oh, really? Hey, dude, good to see you again. Did you hear about the massacre the other night? A bunch of Ruskies, I heard. No laws, if you ask me. They say some maniac wearing a rubber mask did it. Sounds like a scene straight from a slasher flick, huh? Oh, eh? Oh, hey? <laughs> I think that was eh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have the perfect film for you. The one on the desk. Take it. It's on the house. Well, it's on the house. Enjoy yourself, brother. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was adding more to the dialogue. But I think dude is appropriate. This is the 80s. Yeah, I think dude is appropriate. Especially wearing uh, Florida. I thought it was more of a California thing, but hey, whatever. It doesn't matter. Dude is now universal. So our room is still kind of junky and gross looking. What is what we got here? We got another massacre has happened reported on Northwest 184th Street. That's exactly where we came from. Um, string of game related violence throughout Miami. Yep, we're not doing a thing. We're just being good citizens. We got more pizza boxes in here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit this phone. Hi, it's Kate from Hotline Miami's Dating Service. We have set up a date for you this evening. She'll be waiting for you at Southwest 53rd place. As usual, make sure you wear something fancy. Click. Oh, sounds like we got a hot date. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Let's go ahead and wear our best mask. Because we never change clothes. Chapter 3, Decadence. Uh huh. More guns, lethal doors, walk fast. Let's do. Um, yeah. I can't even pronounce the name. All. 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 Ver, whatever. <laughs> more weapons. I don't know what that means. Did I just get more bullets? Or is it actual a gun thing? I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, they gave me a shotgun this time. That definitely changes things. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm happy. I like this level. Okay, so let's go ahead and lure this person out. So we threw the knife we got on. The shotgun only got six shots. Uh, not bad. We're out of bullets, but that doesn't mean when we're out in the fight, that means we just gotta be extra careful. Man, this music hype. All right, we did it. So we cleared the first floor. Oh, look, it's a big fat black guy and our date with her drugs and stuff. We gotta go talk to her. Now let's move up to the next floor. Let's be loud this time. Uh-huh. 
Seems like we're doing fine. Got two people there. Got one right there. Another right there. There we go. We did it. That was great. You know, I think that was fantastic. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be one of those little dots around here hiding from us. Let's see if we can find it. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure where it will be. I don't know why I'm being silent. Oh, here it is. Found it. Woo! We're doing great. Let's go ahead and handle. Oh. Ugh, he looks disgusting. Gotta do everything by myself, huh? Now him. You need a shotgun, I think, if I'm not mistaken, because his bulletproof vest just takes the hits. Shotgun knock him down. Oh, well, apparently he needs more than one shotgun shell. Let's give him another one. Let's give him one more. You want another one? Oh, nope, sure don't. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't. Let's kill him. Oh, ow. Oh, he poked his eyes out. So I think he's dead. I hope so. If not, that'd be painful. Yeah. Just get it over with. I knew it would end like this. Actually, we don't have to kill you because... Actually, I'm not sure why he doesn't kill her. Not sure why. But we're just going to spin around since she's not feeling well. It'll make her feel better. And shove her in DeLorean. And uh, I guess you don't mind us saving her. Quote, unquote, save. More like kidnapping. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we, we, our first date, I think we came out on top. I think she definitely liked us, especially with our cool combo. We got a B, so we're a combo trainee. But I think she liked us for that. Um, hopefully she's still not in that car. I don't want to see her passed out with no clothes on. Um, that would look pretty bad. So let's uh, get a drink. Hey, it's you again. You keep changing your hair, but it's still you. Hi there, welcome. You don't look well, sir. Oh, now he doesn't know us. Are you all right? Are you sure it is okay for you to be drinking? All right, then I will get you something special. Do you like sweet or sour? Maybe you want it bitter. And there you go, sir, enjoy. Well, did you ever answer that question? Well, I guess you made the drink, so let's drink and drive. Thank you for the drink. So we got some people hanging out here at the bar. This guy keeps spilling his drink. Uh, this guy's playing like some games getting in there, man. I mean, that, that seems like me. That's arrogant madman right there playing the video games. Not even thinking about what you should be doing at clubs, drinking and dancing. But, nope, play the games. They got Santa Claus knocked out and drunk over here. Poor Santa Claus. He about to bun the next game, too. Uh-huh. Let's keep moving around here. Yep, seems pretty legit. Let's keep going. Man, this music's nice. Part two. Questions. I have plenty. <laughs> so we're at part two now. Let's go ahead and see what the overlords have to say. Oh, it's you again. It looks like you've been busy since we last met. I see that you remember me now, don't you? But you still don't know who I am. You don't even know who introduced us, do you? Why did you come back here? You're not a nice person, are you? You make me sick. And that owl was tripping. <laughs> a picture is, sta is starting to take form here. I wonder if it's accurate. Some pieces don't quite seem to fit. Or maybe I just like the, uh, the way it looks. I think our time is up. But we'll meet again. Before you go, here's four questions to ponder. Question one. Do you like hurting other people? I have a shirt just like that. Question two. Who are le who are leaving? Who is leaving? Uh, messages on your answering machine. Question number three. Where are you right now? And the final question. Why are we having this conversation? That's all for now. See you soon. I don't know why we're having a conversation. I think we're in a spiritual dimension locked in his mind because he's insane. And um, people leave a message on our phone or obviously some people that we're going to meet later in the game because it had to be, obviously. And what was the other question? 
I can't even remember. The second question, I can't even remember anymore. Come on, whatever. What can you do? Short term memory. Don't have it. <laughs> so we got even more pizza boxes around here. And, ooh, look at that. Movie producer found dead in Villa last night. Uh oh, oh, he's a movie producer. Surveillance tape reveals mask assailant. Unidentified female abducted from the scene. Oh, yeah, we did steal somebody, didn't we? Where is she? Oh, there she is, right there. I was like passed up. You okay? But she looks okay. I'm not really attacking her or anything. She seems pretty legit. Good evening. This is Blake speaking. We have a job for you. There's a power outage over on 24th Northwest Street. We want you to take care of it. We already sent someone over a while ago, but it seems he didn't do a very good job. Head over there right away. They're expecting you. Keep it quick and clean. Click. Well, before we head out there, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you everybody for continuing to watching this gameplay here. Uh, I thank you very much. I'm the Arrogant Madman. This is the Two Way Street Channel, and we'll have more Hotline Miami as well as many other gameplays for you. Don't worry. Just wait. They will be coming. I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye.